Hi everybody! It's just a quick little live that I wanted to jump on here and see how everybody's doing. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic day. Um, I want to um, see if I can put a direct link in this live. Um, I should have done it beforehand, but I didn't, so oops. But you guys, if you're watching on replay, make sure you hashtag replay. Um, I wanted to show you guys these beautiful papers from Paper, Paper O Mia. P A P E R O M I A. M I A. Paper O Mia. She's over on Etsy. And I am going to right now go to my live here and I am going to put a link to her shop so that you guys can go check out her um, page right here. Now it's a long link because of the way I did it, but um, it should work. Right there it is. That is her Etsy shop, okay? Um, she has this wonderful, just look up underwater um, to see these beautiful papers. And look at all of them that you get them. Get Now, I did just single side them because you guys know how I like to do journals sometimes. I like to take other books and cover the pages with these, which is probably what I'm gonna do here. But these are beautiful. But, uh, what I thought I would do is I would hop on here and um, I'm going to pin that comment, uh, pin comment. That is directly to her shop, okay? Um, this is, you can do a complete journal with this, all right? But I thought I could show you guys these papers. And then over the next, you know, little while, couple, you know, probably a week or so, we'll hop on every once in a while and we will just do some fun things with these papers because they are amazing so i'm going to show you this these are um eight by ten obviously you can resize them how you would want to do them but look at this look at this page here does that not look 3d or what look at that that is beautiful and with me just coming back from the beach these are just perfect look at that these are going to be absolutely amazing to do stuff with. Look right here. This guy right here, it just jumps off the page with you. Now, I just print on a regular inkjet printer um, and go from there. A lot of times I will heat set by running an iron over the top of and um, do it that way. I'm trying to get my comments to come up over here. There's my mom. Hi, mom. How are you? So my f laptop's being kind of weird and I don't see anything up here at the front. But anyway, so but look at the mermaid right here, you guys. These are absolutely amazing. I love these. I may have some duplicates because I was trying to print as I was running out the door, but it don't look like I do. But it was 41 pages of goodness. Look here. Look at those with the fish. And all that. This is going to be something that's going to be absolutely fun to do. What I'm probably going to do is, I'll show you here in a second. I've got a couple hard-covered books over here that I think I'm going to use it as the base. I think. I don't know for sure yet. As the base on here. And then just put these on here and do some fun stuff with. I am thinking that we need to do some... Look at her. Look at her. Look at that. Look at that face on that. Is that not beautiful or what? I am thinking that we need to do some glitter. I'm thinking we need some sparkle. I think we need all kinds of stuff in this. But look at this page after page after page of full sheets of these to make us a fun little journal with. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that or if we'll figure some other, you know, like cover type thing. Hey, Mary. So heat press, doesn't it run? So it doesn't run or hairspray. Those are gorgeous. I know. Um, yeah, I, I, heat, I heat press, but now does it work perfectly? Absolutely not. 
because I don't have the right printer for that kind of stuff. So when it gets wet, it can still smear, but it does help a little bit. So what I do is I just take a piece of parchment paper and I just take my, I just take my heat press that I do my t-shirts with and I just hold it on here just for a little bit. And that just helps some, but I try real hard not to get it totally soaked, you know? Um, look at her. Is she not beautiful? That just kind of helps so it doesn't run so much um, as if you just go directly on it. The other thing that helps is I use a little bit thicker paper. It isn't cardstock paper. It's kind of in the middle, but it's not the thin um, uh, copy paper. So you don't have to get, it doesn't have to soak through. So it does help a little bit. These are so pretty. You guys, they just keep coming and coming and coming. I, you know, I was looking through these when I was looking at them earlier and it was like, you don't even have to do anything. The pages are made for you. You know, this would be a beautiful piece to make you a little book to, that you could just like sit on your coffee table or something like that, that people could just kind of look through and see. Look at her earrings, you guys. Look at her earrings. Simply amazing simply amazing and like i said we just came back from florida if you guys saw my video where we found all the sand dollars we had we found over 60 sand dollars we made it home with about 30. be pretty on a shirt yes it would be pretty on a shirt um made it home with about 30. so stay tuned for that because i'm gonna make each one of us a um t or not a t-shirt like a canvas. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put St. Pete 2024 on there, like in the center, do some painting on there. Maybe put, I brought back some sand, maybe put a little bit of sand. And then I think I'm going to go the sand dollars around it. Make one for Izzy, one for Lily, and then one for us to keep. And then um, put some resin over the top. I think that would be pretty. But these are going to be fun. I would go ahead and start working on this. But we just got back from vacation. You guys are just being totally transparent here. Um, we was just live in our VIP group and did a project. And um, being off for a week and out of sync on our third shift thing. I'm going to take a nap here a little bit. So I just thought I would show how beautiful they are. That is her shop at the bottom. And then um, I will post when I get off here a direct link to this actual um, setting right here. But you could just look up underwater on her um, page and it comes right up. So there's pockets. There's bookmarks. You know, here's some more pockets. Um, here is some fussy cutting to add some fun things. Look at the sea, look at that octopus. Wow. Fussy cutting. Here's some tags to make you some little tags to put. I love making the tags because then you can keep them and use them. I think I printed that one twice because as you can see, my printer ran out of paper and it went crazy on me. So I had to get it going again. But so pretty. Some stamps. But I love to make little tags and stuff to keep and just put in a little box. And then when you have a gift that you're giving to somebody, you can just pull that thing out and uh, stick it on there as a tag for someone. Stick it in an envelope to mail to somebody and write a little note on the back of. You could, I mean, all kinds of things. Same things with the bookmarks. The bookmarks write a little note on it. You know, if you have a neighbor, hi, Jeannie. If you have a neighbor or something that's going through something or having a rough time or whatever, wouldn't it be fun? to pull out one of these little, you know, let's see. I'll just show you. Like one of these tags right here. Like this little tag right here. Just write a little note thinking of you, love you, um, hope, you know, everything gets better. Hello, Mike. There's my husband. You know, right on the back. Stick it on their door. You don't even have to sign it. Stick it on their doorknob. Make their day. Just something fun. They can stick it in their book drop it in their purse, whatever, you know, and just remember and just to let somebody know that you're thinking of them or whatever. But, uh, that's, uh, 
Um, that's a fun thing to do with your tags and your bookmarks and stuff like that. Just to have something to give to somebody. Um, you know, or you can keep them yourself, you know. You could make a double-sided tag or, or whatever you wanted to do there. Oh, those are, that's a double one there. But fun stuff, even just these little pocket things, you know, like here, these. Punch a hole, put a little string on. Fun stuff, all kinds of fun stuff. I can't wait to get started. I am thinking, I am thinking, we are either going to make us I don't know yet. I have to really think about how I want to do the book. But my first, my very first thought when I saw the papers was to take one of these right here. I'm going to lean way over here just a moment and take, um, shoot, I can't get to them, but similar to, similar to this, kind of like how we started this, similar. You know, how we started the Halloween book for this year. You know, it's a kid's children's book. You know, you can take a book that you get at Goodwill or, you know, a lot of times they're free from the library and stuff like that. And then you have kind of like a base page to get started and you've got some good binding to make a book. So it's going to be need to be a little thicker than that because there's a lot of pages here. Um, but a lot of them, you know, I'll glue together to make. To see, like, these pages here would be fun to put some pockets on, to put your bookmarks in and your tags and stuff like that. But the ladies, the mermaid ladies, oh, my lanta. You guys, they are so, I love this page. This page jumps out at me like crazy. I love that page. But I was kind of thinking one of the mermaids, uh, I don't know which one, though, um, as possibly our front cover. So wouldn't that be pretty, like, pretend like this was our book. And that could be our front cover. We could put some, um, you know, clockwork stuff on here. We could uh, dazzle this up with some sparklies and maybe some diamond dust. And, you know, just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hi, Lois. I think they're absolutely beautiful. This lady has some amazing things on Etsy. A lot of times when I'm doing journals... Um, I will do, um, I'll buy the whole journal set to go together. Um, and that's where I found her. And um, she does, she, there's there's amazing things on there. I was just looking again at uh, some of the stuff she has on her pages. She has a beautiful um, blue butterfly junk journal set. She has a vintage junk journal set. You know, she has this one. It's called Underwaddle Journal Kit for Scrapbook Pages. I mean, you guys, you would be, you would love some of the stuff that she has. This Grandma's Old Recipe Book, I believe that is in my cart right now, um, one I was thinking about doing to put together. But, um, you know, I really, really like those. I like these. I think they're beautiful. So anyway, so I just wanted to do a quick flip through of these pages to give you guys an idea of kind of a project that we're going to start working on. I know I have a couple projects going, but you know me, we'll pull them back out and do them periodically. Um, just got done on the VIP group. I'll show you what we made in our VIP group. Um, totally opposite of what we're doing there with the underwater. But we made this little kit right here with our VIP group. You can order a box from us. Um, there, aren't they cute? Little strawberries. We got all the stuff and much more. I can show you guys. Look, I still have all of this stuff left to do things with from our kit box. So it's the Five Star VIP group. If you're interested in that, please get with me and let me know. Um, every month we send something out. We do a craft parties and do all kinds of fun stuff, but I think it turned out really, really cute. Got a little handle for our strawberries and everything right there. But... This live was supposed to be about this, so I just wanted to do the flip through. If you're just hopping on, go back and check out these pages. They're absolutely amazing, and if you like them, go get the set. I will tell you the set on here is, um, I think it was $4.95, so and it's an instant download, and um, we could work on this together if you want. Um, thank you, Jeannie. I kind of like the little crate, too. I think it's absolutely adorable. So... I'm going to hop back off here and uh, 
go take a nap before work and we will hop on and start working on this a little bit at a time. And uh, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and even better tomorrow. And um, bye-bye. Oh, well, hello. I just seen that. Hello, Pam. Welcome to my page. Usually I'm doing a craft, but I just wanted to show these papers off. So I hope that you'll follow and come back. And if you're on replay, make sure you say hashtag replay and I'll say hello to you. So bye-bye. <laughs>